Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sohn. Today, we're gonna to be doing the triangle inequality theorem, which is actually one of the more easy things for some of the problems for geometry. So when you have two sides of a triangle provided, uh, well, technically, if you want it to be a triangle, you need the two shorter sides to be more than the longest side. So if we take the five and the four, which are parts of a triangle here, and if we add those up, which are the shorter sides of the triangle, are they more than seven? And last time I checked, five plus four is greater than seven because nine is bigger than seven. So yes, this can be, in fact, a triangle, okay? So that's all you have to do is look at the two shorter sides. So like here we have a three and a two. Three plus two is not bigger than six. It's actually you know, less than six. So because of that, this cannot be a triangle. Okay, so this is not a triangle. And then here's why it cannot be a triangle. If we have gone three this away, and then we go two this away, the side of six is quite simply just gonna be too long, okay? So it could maybe complete a triangle here, but it's not gonna complete the triangle with the side length of the triangle being six, all right? Now I didn't draw that to scale, but if we even tried doing it, like the best way that we could make the three and two fit into the six is if they were like one right after the other, almost as obtuse as physically possible. But if we do that, we'd only fill up a measurement of five and we would still not be able to get the full six because the six would be one more feet or meter or whatever away, okay? So that's why the two shorter sides have to be longer than the other. It can't be equal because if it was equal, they would just be two lines butting up next to each other, all right? So here we got two and four, two plus four makes six. Six is bigger than five, so yes, this can be a triangle. And here, even though two of the sides are equal, eight and two could be considered two of the sides, and then this could be considered just one of the longer sides, all right? And eight plus two is definitely bigger than eight. 10 is greater than eight. So yes, this is a triangle as well, all right? So that's all we're doing for these. And it does get a little bit more complicated. We might show you what those are now. I think that you can understand that as long as the two shorter sides are bigger than the longer, it's a triangle, but if it isn't, it's not, okay? Now, here is where it does sometimes get a little bit more complicated. If you're provided with two sides of a triangle and you need to find the possible range of values for the third side. So given to find the possible range. And the issue is that we don't know if the nine and the five, these two sides are the shorter two sides or if one of those is the longer side, which means that nine would be the longer side. So you have to do it twice. So if these were the shorter side, that would mean that nine plus five would have to be greater than that third side, which we'll call X, all right? Which means that nine plus five is 14. 14 is not allowed to be X. X has to be smaller than the 14, all right? Well, what if, what if the third side isn't one of the shorter sides. What if nine was the biggest side, okay? And we're pretending that X is the, uh, you know, on the smaller side with five. Well, that would mean that X and five would have to be greater than nine, okay? So here we pretended that these were the short sides, and now we're pretending that these are the short sides and that this is the longest side right here, all right? And if we solve that, we find that X has to be greater than four. So this is technically correct. X has to be greater than four, but X has to be smaller than 14. And a lot of times you'll see it written like this, where X is spliced between the 14 and the four. It'd help if I wrote four, all right? Where you physically put X in between the two, okay? Now, there are other ways that you could go about it. You could go about it in the sense that um, you could literally say X has to be, you know, X and in this case, if we pretend that five is one of the shorter sides, X plus five has to be smaller than eight. Excuse me, oh, I messed myself up. I'm just gonna restart it. I tried doing a trick, didn't seem like it was gonna work. So let's just say that these two are the shorter sides 
If those are the two shorter sides, that means that five and eight, it, and x would be the larger one, these must be bigger than the third side x. So that means x has to be greater than 10, 13. Less than 13. I am having a rough go. I apologize, friends. It can happen to anybody. Okay, so these two shorter sides would have to be more than the third side. If we pretend that x is a part of that third side and it is the biggest side, x is still going to have to be smaller than 13. What about if 8 is the biggest side? Well, that means that x and 5 would just have to be adding up to more than 8, which means that x would be greater than 3. So we get our two values. x has to be greater than 3, smaller than 13. You put a 3 here, you put a 13 there, you put an x in the middle, and then you box your answer. So you put the smaller number on the left, the bigger number on the right, x in the middle, less than, less than side in between. Let's do another one because I butchered that one. Pretend these two are the shorter sides. That means that 10 and 6 has to be greater than the third side, which means the third side has to be physically smaller than 16. Okay? Pretend that 10 is the biggest side. If 10 was the biggest side, then x and the shorter side would have to be bigger than 10 as well. So x also has to be greater than 4. So it has to be greater than 4, but less than 16, greater than 4, less than 16, smaller number and bigger number in their appropriate places, smaller number on the left, bigger number on the right, less than symbols in between, and we get our answer. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, my friends, stay positive, and I will see y'all later. Bye.